welcome back to Talking Shop in the Shop. I'm your host, Frank Conchardo, Executive Director here at uh, Orderplans.com, a division of PKAD Architecture and Design, and we're back here at Salt and Barrel in Bayshore. Um, we've got uh, great guests here with us uh, for, on this episode, uh, Ben and Tony Jackson of uh, Ben's Contracting out of Freeport. And uh, I don't, Frank. Good, Ben and Tony. Good to you. Great to have you on. Um, we go back, uh, what, maybe uh, 2016 or so, back when we were uh, busting our knuckles with uh, New York Rising days. New York Rising, Sandy, house lifts. Yeah, that's right. right. A lot of fun stuff. That's, yeah, that's right. So we, <laughs> we, didn't really, we didn't really know each other at the time. No, no. Right. And it started with a few phone calls. Right. You know, a few phone calls in the office. Then we met. And uh, I don't know if you remember, I came and you did the 3D simulation. Oh, you came to the office? I came to the office. When we were in the Babylon. church. That's yeah. Right. And it was, I thought it was remarkable That's right. stuff. We put, we put the VR goggles on yeah. at the old time when we yeah. had, uh, I forgot about that. Yeah. And we had um, uh, all the old wired equipment. Yeah. It's like Gordon Gecko now with a big phone, right? Right, um, right. We had the wires hooked up, and that's, that's right. That was yeah. the very, very, very beginning. We were starting to play with a lot of the technology. Yeah. 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 Right. So you guys were uh, prime vendors with, uh, with the Governor's Office Storm Recovery. Yep. And we were prime vendors also with the same, and we were on the design professional side, and then you were on the contracting side. Correct. And yeah. as they... As the boys in Mineola would run us to our paces mm -hmm. on the design documents, then they would go over to you for estimating and execution. Yep. And that's how we sort of cut our teeth. Yeah, sure. And, yeah. It, and it, you know, it showed it was a really great relationship because, um, uh, like most architects, but I think even more so with you guys, we'd call you up, you know, there's an issue here, there's something there, and, and you know, respond right away. This, this is how you handle it. This is what we need to do. Right. This is when we move forward. Right. I, I don't know if you remember, we did one in East Rockaway. The whole first floor was rotted. No, so we abandoned the first floor, yeah. raised the second floor, yep. replaced it. Yep. Um, yep. Very we had the other one down there that we were we were working on together in, I want to say it was in Long Beach, on the, on the, east side of town, and, and we had, uh, we took the three sixties underneath, yeah. time lapsed it, yeah. and showed it elevated, yeah. and there was some issues with, Joyce not you know there was always an issue. Yep. You know there yep. was always an issue back then. So so yeah so we go we go back. Uh, quite a bit. Quite, quite a bit, sure. yeah. Good, sure. good, good, good relationship with you. So, so you, you have a, a brick and mortar shop yep. um, down in, in Freeport. Why Correct. don't you just, you know, just tell me just a little bit about, you know, how did you end up in the brick and mortar? Why did you decide to do that? It's not typical to see, you know, a contracting firm. Well, it's usually a, yeah. yeah it's funny, was, uh, I was working from the house and you always have, you know, your son wants to play ball, the dog's barking, you want to be professional. You want to have somebody there to answer the phone. Um, you know, somebody to pick up, manage phone calls and things like that. So our original office prior to that was in Baldwin. Uh-huh. Um, and then this building came up. It was after Sandy. Right. Uh, concrete block building. We, we had to abandon the first floor. We built from there up. And that's our office, construction yard. You know, right. we have a, a, a caretaker on the second floor. Um, that was about a, a little over 10 years ago we did that. Right. And that's worked out very well for us. Right. You know, right. a place we have a conference room, we can meet with people, we right. sit down and discuss things, meetings with our staff, so it, it's right. really worked out so well. So one, one big hub where everything happens, Yeah. right, Tony, I know you're, you're sort of the back end, the, 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 the business guy in, 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 the, in, the, in this brother relationship, which we'll talk about what that's mm -hmm. like. Um, <laughs> I have four sons, and I'm very interested to see what that's going to look like uh, as we continue to... Grow them, and be good. Grow, <laughs> grow them into men, good. yeah. Um, but so, but you, so you have a, you know, the conference room. Clients come in. You do your material selections. That's Let's right. Talk. They yeah. can do the material selections there. You know, you have room for your staff. Um, it's centrally located in Freeport. Yeah, you know, you're down near the open uh, based a long time. Right down by the nautical mile. Right, it's just right off the nautical mile. Right. Um, it's an elevated building. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Yep. And. Uh, all our equipment is there. You yeah. Know, so just it's, one, it's one, one nice much up. more professional look. Working yeah. from home, I felt the same as Ben did. You know. Sure. You want to spend time with the family. You want to need that separation. <sighs> right. Yeah, very smart. Right. Go. Right. And on larger projects, you really need a, a homeowner. Really needs to have a stable firm that has yes. a, a footprint yeah. instead there's of a, a guy in a van. Yeah. Well, right. And and there's a place for a guy in the van. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. 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 There's some quality men that sure. are sure. working 
you know, I, I'm, no I'm, I'm kind of thinking three or four of them right now that yep. it's themselves and a helper and they're going to bang out a kitchen or a bath. Absolutely. Great. But when we start talking about, like, when you need an architect yeah. to transact the, 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 the work, it's going to be larger scale. Yeah. Yes. And absolutely. you need stability with that. Stable workforce. Right? Permitting, insurance, licensing, bonding. You know, there's, right. it goes right down the line. Right. And you guys aren't hiding. No. No, we're easy to find. <laughs> You're easy to find, right? In fact, right? You just you just ran for local office. Yes, I just ran for the county legislature. Yeah, so, so uh, talk about that. That's really. Oh, cool. it's very interesting. It's funny because uh, a lot of people ask why would I do that? You know, at yeah. my age, everything else, and uh, I'll never forget. My father would say, "Don't complain about something unless you were willing to do something about it." So I, I see things, and not to be political, but I see yeah. things going on that I'm not crazy they don't, they don't about. Don't align with. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like sure. to change. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things I sat on a board at the county in consumer affairs. I actually chaired the board and uh, we were trying to change how at licensing Nassau, works. At, at Nassau County, Nassau County. Department of Consumer Affairs, Correct. you were on the board for licensing. I was chairman. You were of the chairman board. of the board. Yeah. It's not for licensing, it's called the Home Industry Board and it's right. really just to counter, you know, to act with the consumer affairs to try and improve things. Right. And, you know, great relationship, very receptive. Um, there are a lot of things in the works, but it's not like we're in private business. You know, when a tire needs change, you go out and change it. Unfortunately, that's not how government works. Right. You know, government, you need a tire change. You've got to get seven bids and yeah, 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 three yeah, yeah. people, and, sure. you know, yeah, 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 it I, becomes I, I a understand. fiasco. Yeah. But um, there is motion forward. And I, really, I just want to improve the industry. That's what it was all about. Gotcha. Yeah. So your dad said, don't complain. Keep your mouth. Keep your yap shut. <laughs> Unless you're going to do something. Unless you're willing to do something. Yeah. Right. Right. So... So you ran for public office. I ran for public office. You, and, and you're involved also in, in the village. I'm, uh, I'm a zoning official in Freeport for about 10 years. Okay. I uh, am president of the Chamber of Commerce for another couple of weeks. Oh. <laughs> Did three terms. It's usually two. They, they asked me to stay one for one. Right. Um, I was on the planning board in the village. I'm, you know, very involved. Right. Yeah. So yeah. you guys can't hide. No. 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 You easy, can't hide. Easy to find. Five days a week. <laughs> right. Seven to five. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just, and I've told my customers that many times. Right. You have any issues? You know, tell me issues they might have had with contractors in the past. Right. You can't find them. That's why you say they can't hide thing, and I understand. Correct. And I say, you want to find us? Seven to five, five days a week. Right. right. Here we are. Right. You know, come in. You have any issue? You don't even want to call? Walk right in. Right. And talk to us. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's, and with construction, there's always a little controversy, a little things uh, going on. It's, it's, and it's, yeah. it, our, our mantra is you, you don't hide from it. You solve the problem. You solve the problem. You know? Life goes sideways sometimes. Yeah, it can. Right? It can. And sometimes it's not a, any, any fault of our own. It's correct. Sometimes it is. Yeah. Right? And like Truman said, right, the buck stops here. Right. Yeah. That's it. It's not getting right. past you. If it's a problem and there's that, you know, proverbial, you know, Storm. Yeah. Yes. I've had with, uh, you know, project managers, they'll talk to a customer. They're like, well, the electrician's got this problem. I'm like, no. Right. Don't say the electrician. We're, it's us. It's us. Yeah. That's know, right. This is the problem that yeah. our company is having right now. We're right. going to get past it. That's right. Know, that's we, it. We, uh, so same, you know, with Phil and myself and the team, you know, we, we, we have staff and we had some tech went south. Um, last year, about this time, and, and it took some time for it to catch up. Um, right. And we were working for another architect, and, uh, and he called me up, and he's like, Frank, something's not right. And I started looking at it, and I was like, you know, you're right. Something is not right. And I said, I'm going to go do it personally. Right. right. I'm going right. to go do it. Right. It's not right. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to make it. Because it's, hey, listen. That's good. Everybody wants to come to the party. Right, yeah. when the barbecue is rolling and, and the beers are cold and it's a good time. Yeah. But what happens when the tide is out and the barnacles show? Yeah. That's when the yeah. owner's there, you know, scraping, yeah. yep. working it. And yep. that's, that's when right. you know when it goes sideways, are they gonna come in and correct? Yeah. yeah. So it has to be a little grace because you open the wall and I mean, right? There it's been known to find some balloon framed projects oh, in Freeport. And, yeah. And the yeah. steam pipe and, and the, the gas right. pipe or and you uh, open the wall up and you're like Oh, we better call Phil. Yeah. We better call Frank. Yeah. We have sure. a problem here. Sure. And it's no one's fault. Right. It's just the nature of construction. Yep. Right? Unforeseen. Yeah. Unforeseen. You can't know everything. Right. You can't know everything. You right. do your best to uncover the, 
the variables and identify where you can, but you can't. Well, it's part of a process we have with our, with our pre-construction service agreement is if, we, if you want to remove a wall and we suspect there may be something there, we may suggest, listen, pay our guys to come in, cut out a piece of sheetrock or whatever it might be just to explore what's there. You know, preempt it. You know, the problem is you get into the middle of a project, everybody's got a budget. Right. Everybody says, this is my number. They don't want to hear that it's 5,000 more or 100 more or whatever it might be. Right. We often just do it move on, you know, keep things right. moving, because right. for us to stop right. costs even more. Right. But, um, you know, if people want to know that, that's available. Right. And we, so, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Ben. Sure. So you said something, what, what is it called? It's a P... Pre-construction service agreement. We call it a PSA. PSA. Yeah. Pre, Pre-construction yeah. service yeah. agreement. And, yeah. and so talk, we, talk about that. Well, we come in, you know, um, at various points in the project prior to it starting. So instead of your traditional estimate where a guy's just rushing to get it out because he's really not getting paid for it, we want to go through every detail of the project. So we don't want, we try to avoid allowances, you know, for a purchase of tile or flooring or counters or cabinets. We want to know specifically what it is. You know, you want to know your budget. We want it exact as much as you do. Right. We don't like change orders because it's always controversial. Right. Um, right. You know, unless somebody requests something beyond. That's, or or that you happens. open the walls up and it's balloon frames. But right. even that, those change orders, it leaves an uncomfortable feeling for everybody. Um, and again, as you know, you know, we'll work with you. Hey, Phil, you know, the budget for that, they don't have enough money to do that project. Right. So maybe we could do things differently. Right. You know, maybe we can, maybe the room doesn't have to be 19 by 20. We can make it 19 by 15. Right. And that's enough to get it within their budget. Right. So we counteract with you and the client, and we just, you know, as you know, right. we go around yeah, the yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So, so, so this pre-service, pre-construction service, service agreement. agreement, someone would come and retain you for this, yeah. and then there's a value add that you're going to take the time to yes. selections, pour the time into it. That's right? the key. That's value the key that you're saying right there is that yeah. you'll spend the time. Right. 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 You know, we're, right. we're, we're asking for a... Uh, retainer of fifteen hundred dollars usually, right? And you know we're getting paid. We're asking for a certain fee for our time, right? But then we're dedicating all of our time. If you're doing a real size renovation, right? You're not just doing a roof, right? You know, right, going right, into right, a house, right. you're doing an extension. You're yeah, doing you're, a whole we're, house we're talking renovations. Real numbers. We're talking you're doing real a second story addition, right? Something like that. We're well into the six figures. There's a lot of complications right. in there. There's a lot of numbers in there. That, Correct. You know, a contractor might want to say, yeah, it's this, add it. you know, throw a number at it, and that can be dangerous. And I know the customer wants to know that the price is the price. Right. Yeah. Right. That, that when really... we give you a number, it's all detailed out, and the price is the price. We've told you what everything is. Right. If we can get you, get the customer to, you know, go to our vendors, choose, the, choose every little item, and then I organize it for you in a little booklet. You know, and then this is everything that goes with your estimate. It's not just an estimate. It's not yep. just a price. It's, you know, it's an organized sort of little booklet of what goes into your job. Yep. Basically. Great. Great. And, and, and the beauty of it is they have all this documentation that we've budgeted. Yeah. They're, no they're not oblig obligated to hire us. Right. That's right. You know, yeah. typically they see our professionalism and they want to hire us. Of they course. see our concern and everything else, our dealing, it's with, a reflection the, dealing of, with the architect, right. you know, back and forth. Right. So, um, you know, they can take this, you're not happy with the number, you think you will do better. Here's all the information that you've paid for. Feel free. Right. You know. So there's a, there's a real value add here. So yeah. you're saying, so let me see if I, I understand this, because we, we joke about this all the time. Just, the word just is a four-letter word, yeah. right? Nothing just happens, yeah. right? Just is a four-letter word. If you, Mr. Homeowner, need to put the word just into a sentence before whatever it is you want done, just know that there is time and money usually involved with, could you just, ba, 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 yeah. yes. right? Yeah. right? So nothing just happens. Nothing, there is just... You don't just show up and do an estimate. Right. Right? I mean, if you if you got a full set of construction drawings on a two-story, um, I don't know, hundred and uh, a two-story, uh, you know, two-story addition out at the back that involves a kitchen, right? Yeah. Is, does that just happen? Like, do you just flip a number? 
No. Well, I mean, if you get like a we real, used to that's drill how, down number. Yeah, that takes time. That's that's how we used to do it, and that's how many contractors do it. And and not to degrade any other contractor. No. But you know, okay, what's the kitchen? You know, you're asking for a price from the kitchen. You haven't picked it out yet. Those are your variables. Right. You know, the sticks and mortar. Sticks and mortar is, is going to be very close in, right. in cost. Right. Um, but the finish should kill you. The finishes could, could kill you. Could kill you. Could kill right. you. The unknowns could kill you. Right. You know, and these and you don't want to find out, hey, I signed a contract, Jimmy's coming over next week, and he's right. pouring a foundation, it's an oil tank. Right. You know, and we also try to deal, deal in, in our contract, in our analysis, we try to deal, um, lay out the things that could go wrong. Right. You know, uh, um, Obstructions during excavation, yeah. um, dewatering. Right. You know, and these are things. Well, especially if you're down right in down the by us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Freeport is like first in class in there. Yeah, the water at two feet at most places. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Um, so, so we try to lay out all the unknowns. And listen, you're never going to get them all. Right. But it gets everything much closer. And and another thing we found too. This is we're 43 years in business. You know, forty. Years. I know you're supposed to say I look too young. Come Whoa. on. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, you're, was your dad working with you? No, no, no. Your I dad. started this when I was 19. Shut the door. Yeah, yeah. So, really? you know, it's like the insurance commercial. We've seen it all. Yeah. You know, so we try to avoid these problems, and we found when we found this process we're dealing with, it eliminates a lot of these problems. It eliminates right. most of these controversies. Right. You right. know, we're really taking the time to think through the whole project as if we're doing it. Gotcha. You know, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, so the 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 process of the, f the quote free estimate, right? But I mean, we we know the homeowners may not realize this, but I mean, Tony, you tell me, if you get a set of drawings put in front of you, and let's just say that they have their their finishes selected. I mean, really, how long do you think it would take you to go from cold? Like, how many man hours do you think it would take you to get to a like, yeah, we could, we could do this for this number, and this is your number. How many man hours would it take to, to, to create an estimate? And yeah, and, to, and to get, get all your numbers from, from your, your team from your subs and everybody yeah. else. You got to get your electrician. You got to get your foundation guy. You need to get. It's hard to say. I mean, it's nine ballpark. hours, maybe something like that. But you you certainly going to have a going to take more time than nine hours. Yeah. The time it's going to be is yeah. two weeks or something like that. Right. Yeah. So you have this doesn't. This is not like a. A website you go to and say what does this cost right you no. have to like call you you got to send in plans to that's i don't right. know riverhead or florence and and get a a, a right. detailed list of okay let's go to um uh, windorama or whomever wherever exactly. you secure your andersons Windorama's from yes. or you're going to go over to marvin or pella whatever it is yeah and whatever it might be you might have to research something that's completely strange you might have steel involved there's the, many aspects that could go if there's into. engineering or if there's that's if, right. if, if there's an elevation involved and yep. it's complicated right if we're down sure. in the water and sure. you start reaching this fifth you basically mark. you don't want to guesstimate anything no. so this all of this takes yeah. time yeah. yeah nobody works for free no no so no. a free estimate isn't really, isn't really, like the homeowners don't realize this, but they're not free. No. Because someone eventually is going to hire this contractor. Right. And he's got to find his time. Right. So he might have done seven estimates before. Somewhere, time has to be accounted. Have to be paid for. Nobody, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants, yeah, right, right. And, uh, so you're saying you'll do all this legwork, and if during this, it's kind of a test. They're really putting you through the test, right? right? Can we test small? We got a. That's right. We got a, hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand dollar renovation. We've got a fractional dollar amount that has to be done. Right. Someone has to pick out stuff. Right. And, they, you're saying that they could walk away, at the at the end of that, limited scope transaction. Yes. And move on someplace else, and they're walking out with all their selection. They have deliverables. They have the finishes. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so they have very, the scope. Right. They have a detailed scope, not just, you know, they have a, you know, yeah. I, I want to meet person. And right. Talk about how many hi-hats. Right. Where are the switches. Right. That sort of thing. So and they we were talking about finishes earlier. Right. The finishes affect the labor. How many sprayers are in the shower? Every little thing. Yeah. You can't know the labor if you don't know what the finishes are. Correct. You know, that's why getting into it and say, well, at a bathroom, that's 20 grand. No. What is in the bathroom? Correct. You know what I mean? Some of these so, folks want car washes when they walk in. Yeah. 
you know, right, spray right, me right, from the top, right. from the bottom, from the right. side, and you can do all that. It's great. It's wonderful. But right. that plumbing bill is going to be right. different and than. And let's know it. That's all. Let's just right. know it. That's what we want to know. Right. You know. Right. 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 Yeah, we want to suit the customer's needs. And you know, we I don't want to say we'll talk them out of it, but we can make suggestions. We did that for Mrs. Jones and she decided, you know, yeah. two sprayers are almost plenty, or I have that in my house and I've never used it. Correct. You know. So there are a lot of things that um, you know, we're trying to suit the consumer's needs. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, their yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah. Right. So all of that is sort of worked through and, and we certainly have a part to play in the how do we you get to that point. Right? Sure. Um, but let's let's jump over to the sort of the maybe the other sticky point that we were kind of talking around. You know, it, it, when when you're on site and you go through demo, and then there's oh boy, the oh boy, nobody wants the oh boy. Right. It happens. Yeah. Open yep. the wall up, right? So let's maybe just talk real quick about what does that process look like, right? Um, I know when we were working in the New York Rising world. Uh, after Sandy, they, it was a very, you know, government yeah. run. Yeah, it had to be heavily right? documented. It was heavily documented, yeah. Yeah. right? And it was a very clear cut process, right? There was an RFI, right? A request for information, information right. that you would submit, and then the project manager would take it, and then they would go back to the architect of record, and if it was on our project, we would get your RFI, and then there'd be pictures, and right? Yep, absolutely. Very formal. Yep. Right? Because what is when all of that is documented and then we're able to respond, right, in a timely fashion back to you, what does that what's the upside to a proper process? Well, I mean the upside is first off having a contractor that's willing to do that. I've seen a lot of guys say, Oh, I'm just gonna throw a couple two by fours in here or whatever the case may be. Right. And the good thing, not so much with New York Rising, because that was heavily documented, everything had to right. follow a paper trail. But if we're doing a, a residential project and I call you up right. and say, hey, Frank, I got three routed two by fours, I'm going to change them. You go, OK, that makes sense. Right. You know, and, and again, we don't like to have the change orders. We don't, you know, that just is the bad blood. Right. So sometimes we just go, OK, just do it and we keep moving on. Right. Unless it's a but, major job. Well, unless it's a steam a, pipe in the way. Uh, yeah, correct. Like sometimes there are things, right. you know, you thought this girder was here, it was all buried. Now that we opened it up, the girder's not there. Right. You know, Frank, what do we do? What do we put? So that may go into more of, a little bit of redraw or revision right. or and even a filing. Let the customer know right. yeah. and let the owner right. know. And, and I'm thinking about a project that we worked on together in Freeport where you open the floor package up and the, the floor joists were undersized or missing. or undersized. I think they weren't they, sitting on a girder. They yeah, they're just yeah. kind of like floating yeah. out yeah. there and it was, we, we, get, we get your RFI, yep. stops, yep. pauses, yep. comes to us, right? Phil in my office is going to evaluate it. We're going to talk it through. You pose some suggestions, yep. right? Because we don't frame. Right. We're not framers. Right. right. You guys are framers. So there is this back and forth. Hey, how do you want to do it? You might propose something. We'll yes. look at it. We'll, okay, yeah, you want to put a sister up the two by 10 here and put this on the, you know, tie this onto the shelf and whatever's going to have to happen. Yep, that all makes sense. Or yeah. what if we try it like this? Or there is a back and forth that goes on, right? And we take your input and welcome it. And then we say, okay, and now we're documenting as we go because now when it's exposed and let's say the, you know, Sergio or whomever is gonna come out of the, 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 the Freeport building department to come inspect. And they're gonna say, well, this isn't on the plans, but now you pull out the paperwork and say, stamped, talk to the architect, keep moving, sign off, well, this, it, it also gets back to, you know, very, very important is the communication. So we immediately call the customer. There is an issue. I'm going to contact the architect. Right. We communicate with you, and it's sometimes like that particular project. There was a lot of back and forth. We finally came up with a great solution, yep. as cost efficient as could be, yep. but structurally sound. Yep. And the communication with the building department. Right. Hey, we're doing this project, but we found this issue. So now we need to you know change it i've spoken to the architect we're in agreement this is what it is right so There's it's paper trail the paper trail right the pictures of it right um you know you have it documented so when the inspector comes for the final he says oh yeah i see that you went through this Correct. this has been approved it's engineered or whatever the case Correct. may be and uh you know that communication and that falls short unfortunately that does have a little bit of delay but when you have a good relationship and work with a good architect right you understand, listen, the job stopped, we've got to keep going. We've got to keep moving. So, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and, and I refer back to this one all the time because it was, 
like on a Tuesday you responded. Yeah. By the end of the day, we had an answer. There was yeah. a little back and forth, get approval from the homeowner, and then you were back at it like Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. We're not talking weeks. No, and, and right. in some cases, um, and again, not to the great architects, but some architects, no wait, I have to come out. I can't come out till next week, you know, another week before right. you get there. And there are, so, like, I'm thinking of a job that, that we worked on in, in Port Washington. It was this oops, front to back split, and there was some funky framing. Yeah. And we tried pictures, yeah. we tried scan, we, and eventually it feels like, I'm, I just, I got to go. No, sometimes you go have to, it. of course, it was, of course. It was bizarre. Yeah. And we came up with an answer, and we spoke, you know, was, there was, another, was another, another builder um, on this project, and we spoke with them, and it was a good experience, and then and, and we're off. But, so sometimes you do need to mobilize and come, but it's sometimes the, usually the exception. Right. It, it's easier to keep things simple. And again, it's Correct. back to communication. Correct. You know, if I send you two pictures, you're going to go, okay, what are we looking at here? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and I tell, uh, it's funny, I tell my employees all the time, stand back where you take a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take a picture up close, I don't know what it is. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, right, it's a Rorschach right. test. Yeah, sure, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. So, <clears throat> so the homeowner, you know, an, an RFI process, request for information process, is something that should be... Um, a process, yeah, right? absolutely. Not, not shooting from the hips, right? Um, needs to be documented. Absolutely. Is required by law, really? right? Right? Yeah. Is required, yeah. Yeah. right? In the, I mean, I don't want to say law, but the, the building department process. You're not getting a CO unless these things are in play, right? That's correct. So that's a proper process. Yeah. But more times than not, what we see, I should say, it's probably more common than not that you get a like. Well, I'm thinking of a job in Iceland right now. Builder never called us through yeah. the entirety of the process, yeah. and now the final inspection comes, and the building inspector is looking at the plans, and the building inspector is looking at what's built in the field, and there is a definitive break in right. intention right. with built. And so now they're asking for, at the end, it's painted. Yeah. Right? And now you want as built. Then, then they're like, well, what's, and I don't know what you did. Right. right. I have no idea. Right. right. Well, and then you have to certify that, I, that something was done not knowing whether or not it so was. So now I have to come back yeah. into the field. I have to measure. Mm -hmm. I have to do this extra work. Wow. All be, and, this, and I have to issue a change order because nothing just happens. Right. It's time yep. and talent. Yep. And yep. that could have been avoided if there was a phone call that says, hey, we're going to relocate the firebox right. here. Right. And we're going to... I don't know, whatever happened, we're going to frame it and let me just, Frank, you know, Phil, I'm going to send a doodle over here and it, are we okay with this? Right. Are we shifting any loads? It's nothing, it, it can't just be that you're off on your own. And then the homeowners, why are you giving me a change order? Well, contract states that if this occurs, there's a deviation from the plan, the builders need to talk, and we're trying to lay out the RFI. But Well, it, it brings two things to mind, one of which the case you're talking about in Freeport is I would rather have the customer a little upset over a change order than having his floor collapse three years down the road. Oh, yeah, you know, Hundreds. they're not going to remember the change order, or hopefully they say, "Hey, listen, these guys were here and they did the right thing." Um, right. If you if your contractor changed what walls <laughs> are, do you know that he was supporting? You know what I well, mean. The joists that are above. It, and you know what I mean? so, everything so affects everything. You, you can't. You're, you're you know, correct because so. now, and this is maybe a uh, maybe this is you know. A, a, maybe a, a good final block, you know, for our time here. Um, the builder, the architect, and the town. It's it's a series of checks and balances. Yeah, yeah. We draw something, right? It goes to the town. The town reviews it. Does it meet code? Or I want to see it. You know, I don't know. They went to a new code class and they want to see a new strap put in yeah, some kind of, kind of connector or something. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever it is, right? Code. Code is this funky thing that is sort of never finishes, right? <laughs> yeah, right. right. So, right. so you know, some some event happens and they have some new products on the whatever. So now, okay, so they they give us an RFI. So we get an objection letter. We change it. We do, okay, now they're happy. Now it goes into the field. You guys build it, right? Right. But there's changes in the field, right? And the town's coming in to inspect. Well, here are the building documents, and here's what's built, and there's deviation, and now the the town's responsibility is to the owner right. to ensure that at the end of this, they get a certificate of occupancy. Right. That this met code safe. 
It's yeah, safe. safety, it's biggest issue, exactly. right? Because yeah. the town is right. more concerned about the life history of this building, yeah. right? I bought a 1964 home. I'm right. the second owner. There will be a third owner. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Yep. There will be a fourth right. owner. Yep. Right. Pro- maybe not going to stay. I've in had family. customers that say, "Well, I don't want the building department in, a, in on this," and I'm like, "Well, you know, you realize that they're the only ones." watching over the store for me. <laughs> right. They're a checks and balance. Right. Correct. Right. You know what I mean? So right. You, you, having a building department is, can be that. I mean, right. So because they come in. they know what they're doing, but I mean, right. you know. Right, right, right. Let's make the, assu- the assumption, right? We're in Freeport. Sergio's on top of his game, right? Yes. And, and so, um, you know, I don't know. They don't put a stud guard in or something. And, and, and then later on down the road, there's a screw in the middle of your, your, your hot water line. Right. Right. Seen it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And these are, you know, the framing inspection. You come in and, and I don't know, the, 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 the footing isn't deep enough or the form isn't yeah. right. Or, yeah. and the homeowner is just expecting that this is going to be right. Yeah. And then not to have the town come in because then now, right, then, then what happens? They don't have the town. They build this. And now at some point they go to sell it. And then it comes up, well, well, we, ha- we don't have a clean CO. Yep. Uh, we yeah, can't, we're not we can't transact. That, really. it's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's, it's yep. a mess. I agree. And it also goes back to two, you know, got me thinking about it. We all have our job. That's right. I'm not the architect. Right. 43 years in business, sure, I know that what the hell is. I can look it up in the code books. But I'm not going to profess to say that what has, what has to be there. Right. I could put in whatever you design, That's you know. Right. And the problem is, and this is another good point for our, our pre-construction service agreement, you're not picking tile or fixing. You're going to say, that's a toilet, that's a bathtub, right. that's a shower. Right. And it's, I don't know how to say it, people don't want to pay you for that. That would take hours. You do one project every yeah, six it's months. Yeah, it's very rare. Right. It's very rare. Well, right. So like my colleagues on the East End, yeah, right, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the high-end market out in the Hamptons, those homeowners are going to retain these, you know, these, these marquee firms, these right, boutique right, firms, right. and they are going to get drilled down on every tile. Is it brick pattern? Yeah. Are we on diamond? Yes. Are we doing yeah. inserts? What about this? But it what shows about? you how it affects. Well, but there's those, those numbers. Affect, but it, the funny thing is with finishes, they might affect where a wall is. Of course. You might yeah. have a certain size tile. You yeah. better make sure that that right. wall. Right. So that's how the finishes affect Correct. everything. People are like, oh, that's just finishes. I go to some store and pick them. You know, but it's not as simple it's, as that on all jobs. You, you, right. You're correct. So, yeah. so typically what we see is out in the East End in the, in the more of the luxury market, we have an architect that would maybe keep internal des- uh, interior design in-house or it's, see, it's, yeah. right in our practice up island, generally speaking, we are, you know, finish is selected by owner, right. costs are a little more contained, scope of work is a little more contained. Yes. You know, we're, we're in a lot of old, um, older neighborhoods that were track built in sure. the 50s. Sure. You know, if you see one split, if you see one center hall colonial, you've yes. seen them all, right? right. There's yep. five or six styles of homes on the island yep. that in these, right, these, these, these old potato farms that were- Old Levitt houses, basically. Old Levitt houses. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. You know, if you go to Plainview, you know we're going to see um, splits. There's still it, the same style, it, though, as a Levitt, yeah. Correct, yeah. right, yeah. correct. Yeah. So, yeah. so you kind of know what you're getting into, and the homeowners have different budgets, and it's sort of bell curve, you know, track built homes, we call them. Um, so why can't we track built the renos? Right, it's gonna kind of be similar. Right. Yes. Most homeowners don't want to pay the rates of the architect or the interior designer to pick your tile and handhold, and that's a very tedious sure. process. And also work through the budget. I, I know some uh, excellent designers, and they do a fantastic project. 100%. But they they don't look at the cost, you know. And you may have, you know, this tile, you know, maybe, uh, you know. You might be paying ten dollars a foot. Well, I have this one over here that's three dollars a square foot, and look at how close it is. So you get you're getting what you want, including budget. So, so there's lots of different ways. I guess the take home here is there are a lot of different ways to skin this. But if you're going to be putting large six figure dollars into your home, there are some things you don't you just don't play with. No, of course. Don't mess with this. The choice, this right. the choice is always the homeowners. Correct. But, you know, the choice, the homeowner can't pay for a $10, $10 tile with $5. Right. And that's where it comes in, where you have to get the reality of the entire right. budget. I mean, like we said earlier, the, the sticks and mortar are, are, are typically simple, and that cost 
is yeah. comparable amongst everybody. Right. And even, you know, for someone to set the tile, it's the same cost. Every contractor pays the same. The uh, biggest difference is materials, and that's where your budget yeah. starts doing yeah. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. to estimate it without knowing those materials, and listen, we do, we come in it's and like say... It's like someone comes to you and they say, cook me dinner, how much will it cost? Right. Right. Say, right. Well, are we eating chop, what, chop cheese? Eat? Or are we yeah. eating, uh, a hamburger exactly. or a filet mignon? Right. Right. Exactly. What do you want to eat? I at can't the make a lumber. I can't make a not lumber <laughs> list. I can't make a grocery <laughs> list right. without knowing yeah. what it is I'm yeah. going to cook you. Hundred yeah. percent. You know, it's a similar idea as yeah. that. Yeah. 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 So, I think, um, you know, if we if we had to think about the takeaways, is that nothing just happens. No. Nothing just happens. No. Right. There is time, and effort involved in anything that says, could you just get me an estimate, right? It means that there is real time and money there. Yeah. Identifying the variables, yeah. being up, up front about that. Um, a large scale project that you're gonna invite people into your home for three to four months is not a small undertaking. Nope. No. Stressful. Yeah. Very like, stressful. Very might, stressful. You might be living in it, perhaps. Birth, yeah. death. Marriage, construction. Yeah, yeah, divorce. pretty much. Pretty much. Right? Yeah. Those are like your top five <laughs> most stressful things, right? Sure. So if there's a problem and you need to yell at someone, you need to know that I can come here between seven and five, five days a week and yeah. get my needs met. Yeah. Right? You know, and, 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 and get things sorted through. And there is value in that, that there's right. stable workforce. That, so, right, that, 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 that you know, the, the owner operator with the van that's stretching to get this frame, bring the framing crew in, it can organize it. Sure. Could it work? Maybe, yeah. but they're, they can't provide a, you know, you need to look at the apples to apples, yeah. right? Yeah. Similar brick and mortar shops, right? And then there are brick, plenty of brick and mortar, you know, builders out yeah. there, right? But they are all gonna carry similar overheads and so on, so on, so forth. The prices are gonna be commensurate and sometimes families are, you know, very price conscious, but yeah. Well, I, I, listen, our customers want that service. Right. They don't want to go into it blind. And, and a lot of times you get a first time person renovating and they have no conception. And I say it myself. I said, you know, how will I be? And I say, you're going to be miserable. You're going to have guys walking in and out of your house yep. all day. No matter what we do, you're going to have dust. Yep. You're going to have mess. Yep. Things get delayed, especially lately with, with supply chain issues. Oh, you know, it, it's... It. and. Uh, uh, we have a customer now, lovely, lovely couple, and the uh, plumbing fixtures don't come in. I yep. said, well, I can't finish the plumbing without Stalled. the fixtures. And Stalled. we did, you know, and we, the other thing about the office is we have staff that will, I'll say, okay, I need this Kohler trim, find it. You know, and we have, you know, 43 years of business, we have the resources. I know every plumbing supply, everywhere right. it goes. You know, okay, don't buy from him because he'll tell you a week, it's two weeks. Right. You know, but try, right. try Jimmy over here. You right. know, Jimmy's pretty on the ball. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, and it's knowing what you have. Right. You know, yeah. that, that, the, that the experience helps. The construction industry is, it's a tough one. Yeah, it it's is. It's really it is. tough because of all the, you have variables in material and you have variables in people. Yeah. And then you have expectations that have to be met yeah. from the homeowner. And this is personal money. Sure. Absolutely. And so those are very difficult yeah. things to get right. Yeah. So 43 years and 43 years? 43. Right, hats off to you, boys. Going on 44. 1980 on we started. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So I think, um, I think we cover a lot of really good ground here today. I do too. Yeah. I do too. I think it's great. Thank you for you having guys, us. You guys like working together? Yes, <laughs> we do. We do. That's great. The great thing about being brothers is we could curse each other out and then go, what are you doing later? <laughs> Which doesn't happen often. We usually yeah. kind of, you know, we're both on the same plane and we both know it's not, you know, crying about we have this problem, this issue is not how it works. Yeah. It's we have this issue and this issue. How do we solve it? Yeah. How do we get past this? How do we keep going? Sure. You know, we have a customer that's, you know, got a little dissatisfaction. Let's yeah. go over and make sure they're happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let's go take care I, of it. I think it's cool when you see family working yeah. together. Yeah. You know? It doesn't always work. I know a lot of times yeah. Oh, yeah. one company, the two brothers were here and they never even talked to each other. You know, so it's, 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 it's good because we yeah. can communicate and work together. It works well with us. We have a good yeah. dynamic. I yeah. think. That's, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. It's a difference in age. He's much older than you. Much. <laughs> yeah. As only a brother could say and laugh on the back end. Yeah. Uh, well, it's great. So, listen, Tony, 
And Ben, Tony, Ben, Tony, I appreciate you uh, both being in here, taking time out of, out of your schedule. And, uh, you know, I hope the homeowners um, maybe glean something from this here today um, and uh, realize that nothing just happens. If that's probably the take home, yeah. the repeat message, yeah. there's a lot that goes in, you know, from the architectural side and the translation over to the building side and dealing with the zoning well, and the build out. There's a lot that goes in for a successful project. For a successful project, that's <laughs> you know, correct. That's correct. You know, jumping and the gun usually doesn't work. Doesn't work, right, yeah. right, yeah. right. So, so from the Jackson family, the Richardo family, the Camp family to yours, um, we hope that there, you found value here. We thank you for spending the time and we'll see you the next time that we are talking shop in the shop. Thanks.